hi to all our viewers out there. You might recall that we chatted to Ray from Dynamics Health and Fitness. Today we are chatting to her again, but this time it's about what she decided to do in lockdown and how she developed a fresh produce market that people could get fresh ingredients from. So welcome again, Ray. Tell us, how did you get involved in fresh produce during lockdown? Well, it was a pivot. I, uh, I looked at my income was slashed by a good 80%. I looked at my neighbors, uh, anybody else around me, and on average people had lost 30, 50, 100% of their, their income. And for me, it was, well, this doesn't look like it's going away very fast. I, from the beginning, I considered it World War Three. Um, businesses have been obliterated. The bombs might not have taken out the building, but businesses and incomes have been obliterated. And it was a easy shift that, well, people need to get good quality food at a cheaper uh, rate. And so I started bringing in, I was always working with the chicken chick. He bring, well, <laughs> yes, it's a he. <laughs> he brings in Midlands chicken, which is hormone free, antibiotic free, as close as possible to free range as possible without actually being, you know, the tough kind of free range that you get. And um, I was able to get it at, 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 you know, at good rates. And I thought, well, housewives need this. Um, they asked for fresh produce and so I got in contact with uh, Bekeke and Zetu and they run a community farm just out of uh, Durban at Waterloo and they've been doing this since 2014. Um, all the, their income goes into seedlings, they grow it, they sell and she would say look her business was not really thriving until COVID came and then suddenly she's now got a market for her produce. So my idea was to be able to bring uh, the farmer's produce directly to the consumer. The farmer can get his price because he basically does all of the work, uh, you know. Um, and by cutting out much of the supply chain, um, I'm able to reduce the cost quite substantially. So it's a saving for the consumer. The housewife gets good quality uh, produce and I'm quite pedantic about, I'm always looking for you know, your hormone free, steroid free, uh, preservative free, pesticide free, you know, as naturally as possible as how God intended. And I believe that COVID has brought us very much back into our roots. We are we're looking and seeing that, well, family time should come after a beautifully prepared family meal. Um, so, so that was my whole concept, is that I wanted to create something that was healthy and it was a win-win for, for everybody. So we now operate outside out the place, which is just opposite Brettonwood on Claremont Indigenous Farm. Beautiful environment, it's perfect for a pop-up little farm store. And we're now bringing in uh, free-range beef from Dundee. I've uh, got cashews from the only South African cashew plantation coming in from Zululand. I've got the Midlands chicken, I've got the fresh produce, I have fresh tuna flown in from Cape Town, I've got GMO free, pasture fed, fed um, dairy products, uh, raw milk, you cannot get raw milk. Um, so it's literally from the cow into a bottle and into, the, into your fridge. So yes, yeah, so the idea being is that I want to get that, you know, that beautiful farm goodness. Um, it's not 100% organic because 100% organic is a mission on itself, but it is as natural as possible. So obviously the animals do need to be treated for, um, you know, ticks and things like that because otherwise the animals would die. But because they are raised as naturally as possible, um, they are healthier. Um, the beef, you know, takes normally three years for, for an animal to get to 300 kilograms. In the feedlots, they pump them to full of steroids and they're that size within a year. So you can imagine what all of those steroids are doing to your body. So that's the thing, is that it's fresh, it's 
nutritious, it's yes, you're going to get a few bits of extra protein in your salad, so you're going to need to wash it. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it's good for you. Wonderful, thank you so, so much. And very interesting how this came about during lockdown. So well done to you to adapting and also assisting the community and people with fresh good, goods and fresh produce that they need during this time. Thank you, Ray. Thank you so much. To our viewers, for all things fresh produce, you know where to go now if you're in the Belito and surrounding area, and we'll be sharing Ray's details with you and where you can collect your fresh produce from. Till next time.